I thought I'd do a comparison between the Russian gas masks, well, sort of Russian gas masks that are currently in service. The one on the left is the PMK gas mask, and the one on the right is the GP7. Very similar masks, except the GP7 is the civilian version, the PMK is the military version. This is a version 1 of the PMK, and I believe the Russian army now is on something like the version 3. Uh, just minor changes they went along to improve it. Uh, these are sort of turning up easier to find on the surplus market now, between about 10 and 20 pounds each. When I got the GP7, sorry, when I got the PMK, I was lucky enough to get a full set. Uh, there was a canteen and everything, but I don't have that in frame at the moment. Okay, so um, both masks are quite similar. They're these kind of latexy uh, face moulds. They take 40 millimeter filters on the left-hand side of the mask. Both have an XL valve at the bottom, and they have voice diaphragms in the middle. The PMK has a drinking tube here while the GP7 doesn't. And another thing is the GP7 has round eyepieces while the PMK has triangular ones and there's also outserts on those lenses there. If we turn them over, we will notice both have the same kind of straps. Although the r thickness of the rubber varies on the masks a bit. Now there's still actually a voice, not a voice, uh, still actually a plastic mould inside that mask keeping it in shape and I'm not intending to use it at the moment so I'll keep that in there. And so these were introduced by the Soviet Union sort of in the mid 80s to uh, basically replace the GP5 style masks so they'd be a bit higher quality and um, for a military mask I can see why it's more in line with current NATO masks although it doesn't feel like current NATO masks that's a sort of important thing to note is that compared to something like an S10, a GSR, an Israeli mask, anything like that the rubber feels very different, it's a much softer rubber and then you have to use the straps to kind of keep the mask in place a lot more so I'm not really a fan of that but um, the masks themselves are actually quite well made good vision on the uh, PMK on the left and um, interesting masks and they're worth picking up if you can see them on eBay or somewhere for the price and obviously with the current news and everything it would be a sensible idea to get some sort of gas mask or chemical suit to protect yourself with in a just in case scenario but yeah both are good masks and worth picking up for if you see them at a cheap price